hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well in today's video i will be sharing with you how to make colored acrylic powders so i will be using some clear acrylic powder one ounce clear jars some soft pastel chalks as well as mica powder and a grinder so these are the four or five items i'll be using and let's get right into the video and this little scoop came with the acrylic powder So this is what the pastel chalks look like you have 64 different colors and um, I will be taking out some of the micro powders because I wouldn't try and do all of them so I will be taking out a few of those so you can watch me while I do that so basically what I'll do I'll only use four of the pastel chalks and more of the micro powders because they're super easier to work with so first I will start off by choosing my chalks and the reason why I'm doing the chalks first is because the chalks aren't powdered as yet so I have to grind them into a powder before adding them to the acrylic powder rather than the micro powder which is already a powdered substance. So. so for this step I will be using this grinder as well as my drill my nail drill so I will be using a sanding band on a mandrel and I will be grinding the purple color and I will be using some glitter as well so first I will start off by grinding the purple into the jar before mixing the acrylic powder and the glitter so you can actually watch me as I do this and for the measurements I am not really sticking to a specific method I am just randomly throwing some glitters in there and as well as some acrylic powder. And I do have my drill at 5000 RPMs. Now I'll use a regular nail tip and try to scrape off the little excess on the drill because I don't want it combining with the other color that I will be grinding after this one. And I must say, this process is very messy. So now I'll definitely go ahead and add some glitters. And these glitters are absolutely pretty, especially this color. Oh my god, I really, really love this color. It is so pretty. So now I'll definitely go ahead and add the acrylic powder by using the little scoop. So I'll probably change this method out because the scoop is a little bit too big and some of the acrylic does throw away a little. Now 
Now I'll take this little spoon that came with the mica powders and kind of stir it up a little before I give it a general mix again. And I will be using 91% alcohol as my acrylic monomer because I really can't take the scent of monomer right now because I haven't done any acrylics in a while. So yes, I will be using some alcohol as my monomer. So I'll give this a really quick blend before I do the swatch. So I'll give it a quick little stir again before I go in with the alcohol and the acrylic brush. I will be using the Model 1's brush that I did review in my previous video that normally comes apart. So yeah. So now I will be taking my brush and dipping it into the um, alcohol before applying it into the acrylic powder to complete a swatch. And this is what the purple glitter looks like so so I'll definitely go ahead and add some more glitter to bring it up a little bit more to my liking Since I'm comfortable with that color, I'll definitely go ahead and put it in its appropriate jar.
and now I will be adding some white acrylic powder because to me that green was a little bit too transparent and I wanted more opacity so I will be adding about two or three scoops of white and mix it in before I swatch it. So I will be doing the same thing for that dark blue color and that peach color before moving over to the mica powders. So moving over to the micro powders, these are the colors that I will be using today. And first I will start off by using a black and a green. However, I will be adding glitter to the green and I'll leave the, the black just the way it is. 
but to save time I would not be doing all of these colors because that will be very much time consuming but you will see how I'll do the micro powders basically I'll just add two spoon of that black and add some acrylic powder to it and mix it up together and swatch it so you can see basically it's not difficult or anything of that sort and you got some really cool colors and for some reason these mica powders kind of like have like a little bit of shimmer in them so that makes it even better After scooping out the black, I'll now go ahead and pour in some acrylic powder into the jar where it's just below the, the rim and mix it up together. Now moving over to that green, it's called Kiwi. So now I'll definitely go ahead and add the glitters, then the mica powder, and then the acrylic powder. So you can watch me as I do this because I will be doing the same thing for all of them. So basically I will be adding my mica powders to the rest of the jars and add the acrylic powder and mix them all together to form my colored acrylic powder. So I'll definitely go ahead and do the same thing for the others so you will see me well I'm all finished with that because remember this is quite time consuming and just to save time I did went ahead and do that off camera. Now I will be creating a label for each powder and swatching them as well so you can see what they look like. So you can watch me as I do this because I did went ahead and speed that up for you.
these are the beautiful colors that I will that I would have created using these one ounce jars and they definitely turned out super pretty that was the acrylic powder I did use that green and that blue and that pink that peach sorry and purple so i do hope you guys enjoyed this video and all items used in the video will be listed in the description box thank you so much for your love and support you can comment down below and tell me what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much once again and bye